Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. We are doing a diverse world today, a map by mapper. Three minute time limit and I think we're in Israel or Jordan. Uh, I think I saw yellow. Forget everything I said, this is Spanish. Well, we are in South America. Yay, two thumbs up. Ah, uh, perfect timing. I completely fucked up that first impression. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Can we figure out how to get on our main road? This actually looks like it's a pretty main road. We do have a yellow divided line, so there goes Chile. The sun is to our north, so we are in the southern hemisphere. It's definitely Spanish. So we have Peru, Argentina. Uh, doesn't really feel like Uruguay. I think Argentina is going to be the play here. Because I really think we're pretty far south. I don't know where else we're going to be. Uh, we're looking mainly for a sign at this point to find anything. Uh, aqueducto, which I'm guessing is aqueduct. The Cantaloc. I have no idea what Cantaloc is. But it's the aqueduct of, I'm guessing, the town. The region, the city, maybe the farm. Not too helpful. But it's uh, the same thing. Maybe it's uh, like a native aqueduct, perhaps? I really don't know. Uh, it does feel like a desert. Maybe we should guess a little bit further towards the middle of Argentina then. And we're not even positive it's going to end up being Argentina, but it just feels like a very dry desert to our south. But then we also have like the lush greenery to our north. This is a really confusing road. It's literally splitting a desert and, I don't know, Greenland? Not like that Greenland, but like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, obviously, uh, there's some information on the sign. It's about police. Probably like to watch out for police. I don't know anything on these signs, although La Mar a los Telefonos, it's like, I guess call them on the phone. I don't think it's Ecuador. I really don't. But I'm probably wrong here. We do have yellow license plates on trucks, which I see typically more in Ecuador. There is something on here from the cop. But again, not really getting anything from that. A little too blurry. I think it said Rio Compe. We're, we don't have time to go back and look at the sign. We're just going to blow fucking past it. Uh, and it ends up being Peru. So, we missed something there. That's Nazca? Dude, we were over by the Nazca lines? Really? Really? I'm surprised we didn't see any, but then again, it's easier to see them from the sky than anywhere else. Wild. Uh, probably the UK. The sun is to our south. Ireland is another option. Uh, license plates are going to be our best friend here if we can find another vehicle. But that might be the hardest thing we have to do in this round, is to find another vehicle. White in the back. Uh, which I believe would put us in Ireland. Because isn't it yell in the back or in the front for the UK? I'm pretty positive that's what it is. So this would be Ireland. So somewhere in the good old country of Ireland. Probably in the middle of nowhere because I feel like that's what Ireland generally is. You know, where else are you going to guess when it comes to Ireland? Here might be another look at license plates just to confirm. Because you can always have vehicles from other places. Uh, ChernobylTrust.ie Uh, and it says Ireland and Belarus. Belarus, sorry. Uh, the Chernobyl Children's Trust? I'm a little concerned about. Mainly because I believe it was yesterday was the 34th anniversary? My numbers might be a little wrong. But, uh, yeah, yesterday I believe was the 34th anniversary of the Chernobyl incident. So it's kind of a coincidence that we're finding Chernobyl, not in the Ukraine, but out here as a children's trust? 
Which I feel like there's no more children from Chernobyl anymore. So I feel like that should have been probably dissolved a few years ago. I don't know if Belarus has anything to do with this. If there's a town in Ireland called Belarus. I know obviously generally where Belarus is. I know I'll call it Polaris just for shits and giggles. But like, I don't know, man. I feel like there's not going to actually be a town in Ireland called Belarus. I don't. There could be. Don't get me wrong. But like, do we do we go over here and just get us Belarus? Do we? I don't think so. Granted, I love how they're talking about like the Chernobyl fund. Ooh, yeah, no, that's definitely Irish. Uh, new Mar... Uh, market? Can't even get a good look. Charleville? Can we find New Market something in here? Anywhere? Probably. I feel like we gotta be close to a big city. I don't even want to look up here. We could go to Muff. It's close. Uh, and it does end up being to the south. Over in New Market. Well, Screenshot the World's coming in the first place. I think he has us beat by 5,000 points. Dirt Road. No real look at the vehicle. Ein Bred Bru. Uh, I think I would typically go with German. But I'm thinking this is going to be Iceland. Just for no apparent reason. Uh, there's no vehicles, really. I mean, it's a dirt road. There's no trees. We're kind of by ourselves. This doesn't feel like your typical Germany. I don't think it's the Faroe Islands. And there is a better look at the language that we were hoping we were going to see. So we just have to hope for luck that by going east, we're going to find a town name. And this could be... A town name, but the Carl Stadir, I feel like is a street. I feel like that's a street sign. Because it doesn't have any kilometer markings, so it's not telling us how far away it is. Based on the water being to the north, we have to be on the northern coast. You know, that's typically how something like that works. Welcome to Snafelsnes. I have no idea where that is. That could be a region. Let's look at the regions. That's northwest and northeast and east so it's probably a town name all right that's probably the west the way to do it town name so can we find snafelness anywhere anywhere that has water to its north no apparently we are really bad at finding names everywhere we fucking go Everywhere we go. It looks like it was certified in 2013, so this is a rather new town. So maybe, maybe it doesn't exist on here because of whatever fucking reason. For apparently no reason. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like that's the best thing we're going to find. I really do. If it's the Faroe Islands, it would still be north. I don't see it here either, but actually, we might be here instead. For no apparent reason. Uh, 2013, I feel like most places in Ireland are already going to be founded, right? I don't know. I have no reason to guess anywhere. Also, we have a dirt road. I feel like the dirt road is more than enough reason to not guess Iceland. I feel like Iceland's paved. Do we have a roof rack? We don't have a roof rack. We don't have time to move it back to Iceland. We didn't have time to move it back. And that's the name of the road. Alright, well, we suck. That's what it comes down to. Uh, Viking, that's D plus Saints. Yellow license plates in the back. However, it looks like they could be different. 
white. Yeah, so it's yellow and white. So we're in the UK. Somewhere in the good old UK. Which I think is the second time we've gotten that today. Didn't we have... So we've... Is it two UK? We've had a lot of Europe on this map. I don't even remember all of our locations. Chateau Chinon. Adira Republic. Kind of seems French. And here's another French. Is this France? There's no way. There's no fucking way. Everything else was in English a second ago. I am so confused. Alright, real quick. I guess it's France. I guess the license plates threw us. For fucking sure. Mm, there's going to be something on here about a town name. I don't think we have the patience to go through the blur. Granted, I'm pretty blind as it is. So, La Saint Christopher. I don't know if that's important. Saint Christopher. It could, it could be named after a town, Saint Christopher. We have Avalon, which is to our south. Avignon. I'm hoping that's the same thing. Clemency, which I think is also to the south. These all sound like familiar names. I just don't know why they are. Uh, and then Sulu. Uh, never heard of that one. I feel like Clemency and Avignon are going to be like around the same spot. Maybe we go to Orange. Just because it's a weird fucking name. Boucher Saint Christophe. So we need to find Saint Christopher. Which, not going to be easy. Because every town in France apparently is named after a saint. Don't worry. You're going to see him. Here's, here's one. They're, they're fucking everywhere. Two, three. I can count them instead. Four, five, six. Like, we're going to find, like, 15, at least, everywhere. Uh, but I don't see Christopher anywhere. I don't see anything St. Christopher. Does that mean we didn't look in the right spot? Probably. Could that mean that we're not in a town called St. Christopher? Probably. Are we going to change our guess? No. Not at all. We need to find, like, outstanding evidence to change our guess. We know we're by a museum, although I don't know what kind of museum it is. I don't see any bodies of water anywhere. And we have mountains. Southeastern France. Or the center of France. Here's Chateau Chinon. I don't see St. Christopher anywhere. So maybe that was the wrong thing to look for. Uh, but it does end up being in the middle of France. At least we're able to get that it's France, right? Uh, right hand side, Strada, which means street in like five different languages. Uh, I think these are Italian plates. We have a lot of plates, so we can pretty much go and look at a lot of them. Although, these don't really feel too Italian. Okay. Well, I don't think it's Germany, because Germany would have said Strase. With the B, the open B. It could be Spain. It could be Portugal. It could be Italy. Utility service. But nothing on it. And it's too blurred when we get close to it. A kilometer. Dopo Il Confero. San Marino. The Republic of San Marino. Which is in Italy. Uh, does that actually put us inside of it? Or are we near it? I think we're going to be near it. But this is saying San Marino and saying it's a kilometer to our east. I think we're actually going to be in San Marino. Now, what is it? It's the Dopo Il Confine. Or we have this. We have Prezi. I think I saw something called Prezi nearby. We need both of these up. La Le Miguelori Ferme della Moda al Prezi Redotto Fino al. I don't know if any of that is interesting, but Super Strada San Marino. Maybe. That should be a kilometer to our east. So we should go a little bit west. I guess? San Marino to our west. Does that mean we're not in San Marino, though? Uh. Or is it the city is to our west? Well, that's actually to our north. 
on SS72. I don't see SS72 unless this is SS72. I don't see SS72. Is it outside of Italy? It could be outside of Italy. So this is SS72. Autostrada 8A14, which is highway, essentially. I don't see A14 anywhere. Uh, and then Rimini. I don't. And here's Rimini, so I guess we're in between. Does this E65, E55 also turn into A14? It does. All right. So we're in between Rimini and here. What if we're closer to San Marino? Because we saw the border of San Marino, but it doesn't turn to SS72 when we get inside. So what if we're not inside? What if we're about to go inside? That's what I'm thinking. I don't. I, we didn't look for Dogana. Um, it does end up being directly inside San Marino. Uh, we're we're less than a kilometer off. Our thought process put us in the right general spot. We just because here here's Dogana. So I think I would have kept our guess kind of where we had it, but not bad. Uh, besides a few of those locations. We, we tried to move it back to Iceland after we saw that there was no roof rack. Argentina, Peru, who would have seen that being Nazca? Uh, and then everywhere else, we didn't do bad, but we didn't do too great either. So let's look at the high score. We came in last. All right, so screenshot the world's coming in first place at 24-7. Uh, followed by Quantum Gravity at 24-2. Wolf Trucker at 24. Beer Lingo at 24. Carl's coming in at 23.8. Taurus at 23.6. Tin at 23.1. E. Chandler at 23. Yeah, we just we screwed up royally here. 22.4. Scribbles at 22.2. It looks like everyone got Nazca except for me. Which means if you went the other way, it probably said Nazca, didn't it? Uh, Bo at 21.9. Cedric Tiger at 21.1. Bentley Aaron at 20,000. And we got 18,000. It looks like both me and Bentley didn't find uh peru god damn god damn but that is gonna be where we call it so coming in last place not bad i guess we tried to move it back to to iceland but we failed uh and then south america it's south america. but that is gonna be where we call it for the day so thank you all so much for joining us today there's gonna be three links in the description uh feel free to play all three of them you just need a free geoguesser account but until next time guys enjoy the rest of your day and bye-bye.